okay let's start learning Vue.js so first we'll install that so here download the development version open the project so here I've opened the learn Vue.js folder so here I'll just copy that Vue.js file and I'll create a new file index.html so here I'll include the script okay so so now Vue.js is installed next uh, we'll create some deep deep tag with name app now I'll just define the script so I will define new view instance here so view so everything will go inside this uh, curly braces okay for example we want to display something in our this div tag okay so here in s2 adding I'll just type in message okay so this is a uh, like variable and we'll define that here inside this our view instance so el so what we are saying is uh, this element uh, which uh, with id app is linked to this object view object okay so everything we write from now onward will execute okay so whatever variable we put inside this div okay will be coming from this instance okay so now we define here message uh, we need to define like so so this is data so we have to def uh, define a data object with name message and we'll give message high view okay so now this message should pop up inside here okay so let's test this in browser okay so here we can see this hello view okay all right so for example you want to display any other uh, variable for example variable okay va2 so just give va2 here and display another message another one and if you go to browser and reload you can see the another message so this is how we render any variable or any data so this is the uh, data rendering part okay next we'll learn about loops and if conditions okay so uh, at the moment we have this okay id now let's define another div okay so with id app2 okay so here i'll just define a paragraph uh, and I will give v if equals to c me okay so so what we are doing is uh, if there is a variable called c me then you can see the element so whatever the content is so can you so one more thing you don't need to define another instance for this app too okay so currently we are defining this for app one so what you can do instead is you can just wrap these two inside another container or any other div okay with id something and you can define that here okay so okay so i will just uh, put these two inside this container and I will format the documents okay so now instead of this app we can uh, specify the container okay so that is class so dot container okay so now everything should work now go to browser yeah you cannot uh, you can see uh, this uh, but you cannot see this can you see me because there is no variable called see me okay so uh, let's define that see me and let's do this true okay now let's refresh okay so now you can see the content of this paragraph because so uh, you don't need to just specify true you can uh, give uh, whatever you want here so if there is empty it will not execute so if there is some content like some okay, whatever that is so it need to be defined okay yeah 
okay so uh, this is how condition work okay so just define v if okay and so these are called directives okay next we'll learn about loops okay so uh, in order to make loop we need uh, another uh, just uh, define an array so we'll define an array of items okay you can give whatever name so I will define item okay for example we have uh, this item okay so array of items and we want to display all of them so we can do that mm, like so so let's create these or comment these out so that it looks clear so I will define ul okay sorry okay I will define this uh, so the way we do v sorry we do for loop is by specifying v4 okay like v if v4 so inside this uh, we'll uh, so we'll specify where we should loop or what item to loop so v4 uh, item in items okay so here we'll display item okay so what this is doing is uh, this is looping through items array uh, so putting the item so calling item so this is the item okay item in items and we display each item so singular okay yeah so now let's uh, check this out yeah so we are getting all of the items okay so you can give whatever name here so value it is just temporary name given to the array object each item okay yeah so works perfect so this is how you loop through array okay you define the array and you loop through each of the items okay you can also loop through objects so this is uh, how we loop through uh, the array okay so let's define another object uh, called people so array of objects so array of objects let's define first object name so this is our uh, array of object okay so it contains these names so here we loop through items and let's define another so v4 now uh, the different will be in which uh, in people and we can give this name person so v4 person in people so person will be this object okay person so here now this time we don't want to access person so this will uh, display object I guess let's check this out yeah so it's not showing anything right now so what we want to display is uh, person dot name okay so this is how we access the variable okay so now it's displaying okay so so this is all about for loop in next video we'll learn about event handling so how we can handle the user inputs like click enter okay so see you in the next video so please subscribe guys thank you